Hi guys, Shane here. I thought I would do a bit of a quick video on getting the snorkel off. That's the air filter snorkel for a KDM 1090. Um, just a quick video. I had the tank off once before and I didn't pay attention to the snorkel if you had to take the tank off. You don't need to take the tank off to clean the snorkel filters. So I thought you would show quickly how we do this. I'm sure this camera is not all that good. I'm using my helmet camera. Um, my other camera that I normally use if you've actually watched my Simpson Desert Crossing, uh, I had a little bit of a fall, and that camera that I used for filming like this sort of stuff, um, it was in the jacket, and in the end, uh, the dust got into the, the camera, and the camera no longer works. I am going to do a bit of a review on this KDM. I've only just bought it, just over a thousand Ks. I know it looks nice and clean, but it has been filthy. Um, a thousand of those Ks have basically been in the dirt. It's been a good bike so far, but I'll give a review later on. I have kept the, uh, the DR. Haven't got rid of the old girl. So, um, there's already YouTube videos about taking the tank off, so I won't go into it too much. What I've done, I've got this on nice and loose. What you've got to do is take the tank off, the, the tank cowling off. So just move that off. Okay, so you've got your bolts here. One, two, there's three to take off. Remember, you do have this one behind here, so when you take this side fairing off, I'll show you in a second. So the side fairing comes off first, this one. So you'd actually unbolt um, that one, because these go through here. Okay, so just don't get confused, they do bolt through that. Okay, so yeah, undo these and this. Okay, so we'll take that one off there. Sorry for the filming, it's not good. I'm trying to do, I need an extra pair of hands, I don't have. Okay, so we'll pop that up there on the bench. All right, and once you do all that, this does pop off. You've got to push it forward, okay, because it does have a little clip or clamp there. All right, you push it forward and you can see the little clamp there which clamps into to there all right so just be mindful of that and that also allows you to access your um your fluid your radiated fluid as well okay now what you'll see what i've done too um if you wanted to you can leave uh i think you might be able to get away from leaving this off but it's i found it easy just by taking the tank shroud off okay because you've got to take all the bolts off anyway and then what you've got here is this other top fairing as well. I know it's a pain, but believe it or not, it's pretty quick to take off. This also has a little clip up in here, like a little plastic um, slit that goes into it. Just be careful of that. So just when you take this part off, you make sure you lift it upwards, okay? And there it is there, guys. I'm not sure how clear that is, sorry. I'm trying to use this camera. Okay, just going to dangle that down. It's not going to go anywhere. You can disconnect it. You can see it up there if you want to, but I, I never need no, uh, no reason to do it. And there's three, three screws that hold, okay, hold this bracket in place. This here has to come off. So there's one, two, three. Okay, they just come off. Naturally, I've got them loose, so I can just take them off and show you guys. Okay, and that just comes off. Boom, gone. Okay. And then what you've got, you've got this little intake part. This just flies, it comes off, just pulls this forward, like this. Okay. Now, I've already, I've already cleaned the filter. Now, like I said, this is an Australian KTM version. All right, now, here in Australia, we're very lucky. Our, our filters are already uni filters, so we don't have to do anything there. So we have a uni filter for here, a sock, and it just comes out. Look at that. Okay, I'll give it a nice clean. It's a pain in the ass to clean, especially when you get stuff down in there. Uh, but that's a uni filter, we've cleaned that, and that's as easy as this, guys. Now, we also have a uni filter for our Mania box filter as well, so we don't need to change it. I think some places in the, over the world they do have a paper version, we don't here in Australia. We already have the uni, um, uni filter already installed on our bikes, and we don't seem to have the same problems with the air box leaking as well. All right, so that's as simple as that, guys. Naturally, just put it back together, which I've got to work out how to do. No, we'll be right. Anyway, I'll give a bit of a view on the KDM later on down the track. All right, catch us later. Cheers.